Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, um, I'm going to be bringing you a video of a Dahatsa, I guess that's how you pronounce it, a Dahatsa 10.1 inch Android touchscreen for my 2015 Jeep that I installed instead of the stock 20, I mean my stock, uh, I guess it's a five and a half or six inch uh, touchscreen radio that it had in it, but uh, I added a couple subwoofers and door speakers and whatnot to it and uh basically put the touch screen in because i felt that that'll be a little bit more entertaining so uh i'm gonna go ahead and show you basically uh after about a year how it's been performing and uh some of the features that it has so let's go ahead and take a look here's my 2015 jeep and my 35 inch mickey thompson's sorry about the uh little crunch little crunch area here but uh this is where i usually park it keep it out the sun and she is uh almost four years old and as you can see i only have 19,684 miles on because i have quite a few vehicles that i that i drive besides this one so here's the uh this, this stereo as you can see, it comes with a uh, a uh, special little box that integrates with the um, the Jeep's uh, computer system, and it gives you basically your Jeep logo up top. Um, also, what it's going to do is it's going to give you um, your steering wheel controls, which will still be working. As I'm going to show you, that's the stereo, and you notice my steering wheel controls. You still have and the office again those, tomorrow. which is a very good feature because a lot of people are reluctant to give up their, their stock radio because they don't want to give up their steering wheel controls. Totally understandable. Uh, I like this radio. Uh, I heard it got a lot of bad reviews on it. Maybe it does have some issues. I know the first generation of them had issues with the two gigabytes with a 16 gig hard drive. This one's a uh, four gig. 32 gig hard drive as you can see it also has the little uh, SD card slot I believe that's for the mapping system though so if you go home and you check out the navigation on this particular radio um, so you got Google Maps uh, your tire pressure monitoring system I think you got to buy that separately gives you your GPS information and how many satellites you lock on to as you can see this one also has GLONASS which is uh, the Russian satellite system as well. And supposedly a lot more accurate, kind of like what the DJI does, the drone has with the uh, with GLONASS and GPS as well. Your amplifier settings, as you can see, you got a dedicated subwoofer setting because it has a subwoofer output. Very customizable, very customizable. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty smooth. It runs good. It's got YouTube, it's got, um, your information uh, torque, which is an Android based uh, platform with a, a plug in module that's Bluetooth to your car. It'll give you your real time information, such as RPMs, throttle, coolant, you know, all that good stuff. But mine's not actually not connected right now. I don't leave it connected all the time. All right, so here's your onboard. It's called iGo Primo. And that's going to let you know, it says loading Israel, which is very strange. But uh, it's, there's a little GPS module. You also have multiple, multiple USB uh, additions you can put on this, on this radio. I mean, it's got limits. It's got TV tuner, all kind of stuff. And the most so about that, I had a little delay in the GoPro there. The most important thing is, if you notice, uh, this dashboard from here all the way to here comes with the radio for around $500. It comes with all of that. Um, it's very, very similar. You can barely tell. There's a slight, slight difference with this being a little shinier than, than the actual stock. But you can't tell from the transition between the radio to each side of the dashboard that it's that much of a difference but then again um here's 
<laughs> here's your uh, your GPS system, and it it, it it works fairly decent. It's it's not too bad. You can do 3D. You can do uh, you know 2D. Uh, as you can see, I mean, this is the New Orleans area. Works pretty good. I, I like it. I like it a lot. You know, whether everything that you have on uh, your Android systems is on this radio. You can download everything. The weather. Let's see, I'll just leave it on for a second. Because you can actually have several different applications open at one time, as you can see. That way you don't have to shut any one thing down. You want to close it, you just do the little swipey. Now, something else that's pretty important. Uh, I have a GoPro mount right here on top. So when I put my GoPro up there, I actually hit my little GoPro button right there. And with my mount, it allows me live access to my GoPro. Now, to me, that's 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 pretty awesome. So everybody that has a Jeep got to have a GoPro somehow or another. But yeah, it connects to this. And, uh, you know, you just hit your little camera button right there. And it shows my GoPro. You just hit your button again. And there's your live video footage right there on your screen. Look, look like I got a million of them back there. Huh? Ooh, that's a lot of radios. Look. Pretty, pretty doggone neat little feature right there. And then see it's recording right now, so obviously I don't want to stop it. But that's pretty good in itself. Um, if you're wondering. Again, you got the radio, you got Pandora on here, you got YouTube. So what it does is it's gonna connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot of your cell phone when you're going down the road. Right now I'm connected because I'm actually connected to to my uh, my home Wi-Fi because it's right next to my house obviously. But when you're on the road, you wanna connect it to your, your phone and it'll give you all all your, your information on your internet, your YouTube, everything. There's also video to where you can play movies. As you can see, I got a movie here. I think that's Avatar, which I'm not supposed to do that because of copyright reasons. But okay, I'll turn that off. So you have that feature. All right, if I go to reverse, there's your, uh, it gives you your lines. And you see I got a vehicle behind me so yeah I just uh, I felt the need to have to uh, go ahead and uh, make a quick little review on this radio like I said it's a newer version it's not the, uh, the it's not the uh, it's not the 2 gig 16 it's the uh, the 4 gig 32 I don't know if that makes a difference it has a faster process I think it's got a 4 core as opposed to a 2 core I'm not sure so don't quote me on that one um, but I'm pretty close. So here's all your pages, calendars. It even has a wheel key stud if you want to put extra stuff, buttons in on that. Look, I got Direct TV now on there, speed test. Uh, if you hit your, your phone button, it's going to pull up, you know, your, your, your telephone information. So, yeah, uh, um, I want. I had to do this review, and I uh, hope y'all guys liked it. And I uh, hope this also helps with purchasing the uh, Daihatsu um, stereo for your Jeep. Uh, I'm not sure the years that it goes to, but it's got to go from at least a 2010 to maybe a 2017 JK. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.